Hey everybody, recently I started the HWPO, Hard Work Pays Off Programming, uh, from Matt Frazier. Uh, if you're not familiar with Matt Frazier's five-time CrossFit Games champion, uh, heralded as the fittest man in history, uh, and is just an incredible athlete. And if you have followed any of the programming that I've done for cheerleaders in the past, a lot of it has been CrossFit-style programming because of the similarities between CrossFit and competitive cheer. The Olympic lifting is very similar to stunting. Some of the gymnastics work that we do in CrossFit is very similar to the tumbling and body weight things that we do in cheer. Uh, the high intensity uh, activity of competitive cheer, the, the sprint type competition, two and a half minutes, is similar to some of the stimulus that we get in CrossFit style workouts. And so in seeing this similarity between the two, when I was done with my competitive cheer career, I wanted to find something to kind of fill that competitive void and CrossFit was that thing. So I started CrossFit back in 2010 um, and was doing dot com workouts and also following a programming called Seal Fit, which at the time I did not realize was, you know, what would we would now consider competitive level programming, you know, or games level programming. Back then, I didn't know anything about CrossFit. I just would see the, the CrossFit.com workouts and then would see the seal fit and the volume in the seal fit was so much bigger than the .com and being ignorant, not knowing you know the difference. I just thought, well, more must be better. So I found myself uh, starting to really like higher volume programming. And over the last 10 or so years with my CrossFit journey, I've tended to kind of stray towards higher volume programming, things like comp train, things like uh, Misfit, uh, Jump Ship, and, and some of the others. And so recently I wanted to explore the HWPO program and really, you know, honestly just see how does the fittest man in history uh, program and what is his, you know, thought process in, in putting together programming for, you know, anywhere from the average CrossFitter, you know, just, you know, that likes to work out uh, just for fitness all the way up into like the competitive level guys. And so we've seen some of his competitive athletes that follow his programming do very, very well. So I was very interested to see how this programming would be. And I wanted to share my experience with you guys. So I'm about, um, about 38 days, I think just over a month into the programming and, um, and, and I'm loving it. It is incredible. So if you sign up from HWPO, there's different styles of programming. There's like a 60 minute version. There's the flagship, which is, you know, your, your, I guess your, your programming for everyone, you know, the, the general programming. And then you have, if uh, you're a competitive athlete, you can do a competitive track, but with that, you have to, you have to fill out like an application kind of thing and submit that. And then you get like, I guess, I think a one-on-one -on -one call with somebody from the team or something that, you know, it's, it's a little bit more involved. You kind of have to get approval, I guess, for, for the programming. Uh, but anyway, I'm following the flagship program. The first thing that I loved about this program is day one of the program is day one. With most competitive program, programming or, um, you know, a little bit higher volume programming, it's it's on kind of like a, you know, a, a cycle of just, you know, ongoing work. You know, they, they kind of have their plan in, in implemented. And when you start, you kind of get, you know, kind of jump in where they are and you have to kind of like follow along from that starting point. They could be in the middle of a strength cycle. They could be in the middle of a gymnastic cycle, um, could be, you know, open prep, um, whatever the case may be, but you, you just kind of jump in where everybody else is, which has some advantages, but also, um, you know, if they're, working on, uh, you know, like let's say a linear strength progressive cycle and you jump in week 10 of 12, you've missed all of that work. And that can be detrimental, um, especially if they're looking at working, you know, through a strength cycle up to, let's say they want to PR, uh, you know, or attempt to PR in like week 11 and then deload week 12 or something to that extent. If you're jumping into week 10, you get a week worth of work before you're trying to PR. And that can be a little problematic. One thing about Matt's programming that is different is day one is day one. So you start where everybody else starts on day one. So if you were to start today, your day one would be what my day one was 38 days ago. 
And I like that because you get to see Matt unpack his programming. You get to see the evolution of where he feels an athlete should grow from. And you know that because everybody's following the same programming from day one. And so as the programming evolves, you get to see his thought process for volume, for strength cycling, for um, specialty movements, gymnastics type things. Um, It's a very different approach to programming than I've ever seen before in competitive style programming. Um, but it's, but it's really cool because when you join the programming, you have this community that you join also, um, through a a different platform and you actually get to, you know, kind of share your experience with people, ask questions, ask the coaches things, even ask Matt things because he is in this, you know, this forum. Um, and so, you know, if I got to day nine and wasn't sure about something, I can search through day nine conversations from people that have done that before. So on a, you know, on that that ongoing type programming, everybody's on the same day. So if there's an issue, everybody has the same issue at the same time and we're all trying to figure it out versus if I have a day nine issue, there's thousands of people that have done day nine before me and may have run into that same problem. So having that is, you know, that style of programming is very cool. You get to see his thought process behind where weaknesses for certain athletes may be um, that may not have ever been covered in, in, in detail with, with programming. One thing, for instance, Matt's huge on rowing. You know, one thing you'll learn is if you don't like to row, you will learn to love to row in this program. There's, you know, big blocks where you'll do like 2K rows and small break and then maybe some bigger, you know, chunks, like a couple 500s. There's some days where you'll do 1,000 rest, 1,000 rest, 250, right? You know, just all different types but your total volume is going to be somewhere in like a three to 5,000 uh, meter uh, workout. Other thing I love about this programming is just honestly just the total volume. Like I'm a volume hound. Like I love high volume workouts. I love um, when the programming is dense, you know, where there's, a, you know, a few pieces to work on. I'm going to be honest, like you got to have time for this programming. Like it's going to take you a while. I would say a two hour workout day is, is quick. You know, if, if you're doing your warm up and if you're, you're doing your prep and, you know, your resting is needed between some of the strength stuff um, that he recommends, you know, it's going to take you about two hours, sometimes two to three hours, depending on uh, how you're feeling that day. So be prepared for that, which if you have the time or want to put the time in, it's definitely worth it. Just to give you an idea of like what this programming involves with, you know, I was talking to a friend about, you know, how. The program is going and I, you know, I told him, I said, oh, well, so far, you know, we've done back squat, we've done front squat, power snatches, you know, full snatch, overhead squats, we've done rowing, we've done bike work, we've done sand ball work, pull-ups, banded pull-ups, strict pull-ups, uh, chest-to-bar uh, pull-ups, bicep work, tricep work, a lot of core work, um, you know, lunges, walking lunges, I mean, all this stuff. And he's like, holy crap, man, that's a lot. I'm like, yeah, that's three days. <laughs> that's the first three days had all of that in there there's amraps there's emoms there's chippers some you know dedicated days with just a cardio workout just working on some long duration cardio it really has everything i mean there's literally nothing that this programming is lacking but my first month review so to say is it's awesome i mean i really really like it um, i love the volume um, but you you have to be ready to Kind of get out of your comfort zone on time frame. If you want to do this 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 type of training, it's going to take you a while. So if you are on you know a time crunch, probably not going to be ideal. Or like the sixty minute you know version may be more your speed. You gotta like I said, you gotta want to work on every little thing. But the cool thing is you get to see the mindset of you know the guy who essentially figured it out. I mean Matt, for lack of a better term, Matt figured out how to win CrossFit. So if you want to be a better CrossFitter, there is no other person to to learn from. As of now, you know, like I said, a little over a month in, I could not recommend this programming uh, any more than 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 I have already. It's it's incredible. I can't wait to see, you know, what volumes and 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 things that are you know we're looking like moving forward. We just transitioned into a new phase. Where we're getting into 
um, some inverted stuff, so like handstand push-ups, um, handstand walking, um, muscle-ups. Just had our first muscle-up workout last week. Um, and then, you know, our imams on the weekends have chipper, or uh, excuse me, have rope climbs in them. Um, so it's, it's just, like I said, it's very, very cool to see this type of programming, how it's opened up, how it's evolved so far. Um, and if you're interested in the programming, I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, again, just remember, make sure you got the time for it and keep an open mind to work on things that you probably haven't worked on as much as Matt will have you work on them, but you'll quickly learn that, um, that those pieces are extremely important and you'll see your fitness start to round out and some of these gaps that, uh, that may be there. So definitely recommend it. And I will, um, excitedly share an update with you guys here, uh, soon. Check out the HWPO programming with Matt Frazier, um, and, and give it a shot and leave your comments below if you have tried it before and what your thoughts are. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, um, or if you're on the fence about it, um, uh, leave a comment why, and maybe we can discuss and answer questions, you know, about specifics about things that you may be curious about. Um, because again, I want to be a resource for you guys and this, uh, this is a phenomenal resource. So Make sure if you haven't already, uh, hit the like, hit the bell for notifications, subscribe, do all the stuff, make the YouTube algorithms happy, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.